Oh yes, Twitter, the most friendly social media platform and one of the best. I like Twitter, it's so good. People are very friendly and they're not toxic at all. Just by saying this stuff, I've already begun to question life. It has come to the point where Mr. Fractional Void has to make a commentary video about it. That's right, Fractional Void from youtube.com slash c slash Fractional Void making a commentary video. Very cool. I like how people on Twitter educate content creators to do the right thing. But instead of actually educating them, they're just putting more and more pressure on a certain person. Until they will have a mental breakdown that will cause them to apologize. For example, this is Scott Cowden. The creator of Five Nights at Freddy's. It was revealed that he donated to several anti-LGBT charities or something like that. So I can't really say much, not interested in it, or know a lot about it. But supporting funny orange man is very bad. But having different views on something doesn't mean you can harass, send death threats, and dox him. That's stupid, but it's Twitter, so what did we expect? Scott is retiring and left a message on his website. To be like, we control you and your friends. We decide who you're supposed to be friends with. Look at Tommy in it and Jay Schlatt for an example. Don't force your boundaries on him. He's allowed to be friends with whoever he wants. If you don't like them, just ignore them. Such a simple thing, but you made it into something big and complicated. It's that easy, and ignoring is better than canceling someone. But Jay Schlatt doesn't really care about Twitter or cancel culture since he's pretty much immune to it. Twitter literally get offended by non-offensive jokes. Can even joke about stands on Twitter nowadays, or you will be obliterated. Because if you joke about stands, that means you're attacking group of minorities. That makes so much sense. Remember the KSI and Tommy situation? He got cancelled for saying KSI would swear because Twin fans fucking hate him. It's great to see people getting their priorities straight. You cancel him for not finding that funny. Doesn't make any sense, does it? British kid starts to spit facts though. Someone who, I, I, th I think Twitter at the moment is really, you need to know everything, which it should be, you know, it's really good that shit's changing and people are much more in your fucking face and, you know, making sure you're not being an arsehole. That's really good. But I am just... I can't, it's too stressful for me, man. It's too stressful. And I um I don't know what I'm doing here. I, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not a a a political role model. I am not someone that for politics and stuff you should be looking up to at all. I you know, I I like to think I know lots about the LG, LGBTQIA plus. And even then, I don't, you know, and there are many more people who know more than me. But I just I don't feel like I wanna be this person who is going, Yeah, you gotta do this, you can't do that, I can't yeah, oh sorry everyone. It's it's, it's just it's too it has became just far too overwhelming for me. And I think Twitter really is, from a, like a psychological point of view, all about that sense of belonging. You know, like I'm sure so many of you go on Twitter because it's full of your mates and friends. And it's fucking awesome, man. The amount of cool people I've met from Twitter, the amount of cool people shit that's happened. The whole Tommy slash negative situation is just sus. It's a bunch of children acting like they're activists. And they're a move, but instead of being activists, they just bully kids to the point where they need to seek therapy. I have probably said this in countless of times, but bear with me, alright? At this point, I just hate the word accountability. It's just another word for bullying someone into submission. Also, Call Me Carson is back. He's probably going to upload a response. We'll see how that goes. I have learned to wait for the other side to come out and make a response into the parasitical situation. I'm neutral on Carson's situation. Because there's a lot of shit going on there, I can't really pick a side. I'm waiting for his response and then I will form my final opinion. And now let's move on onto the funny moment. I'm starting to see pedophiles and zoophiles more often than usual. These people usually have this symbol in their bio or name. You can identify them using this. Animals can't consent you dumbass, why are you? Why the hell are you even attracted to animals anyway? Alright, you're a zoophile attracted to species without brains because you find them relatable. Both zoophiles and pedophiles have something in common, being target practices. Whenever I get on Twitter I lose brain cells but at the same time, I will regain them. Pretty much Twitter in a nutshell. Drop a comment if you agree or disagree and say something up. You, you know how it is. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.